Hey, you guys. Let's get into your reading. Let's see who the love messages are for the week coming up. Uh, beginning from the time you're listening to this reading, going through, uh, gosh, I almost said September, December 2nd. All right. I'm sorry, December 3rd. December 3rd. Let's take a look. Okay. Wow. Cool. So romance looks good. You've got someone who's interested in you. Somebody likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Someone wants to date you. Virgo, you also have healthy choices. I can't pick up. Oh my goodness. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. <laughs> and you have date, meaning someone new. Getting back out there, planning, setting a date. Okay. So someone wants to date you and setting a date. So it looks like, Virgo, at least this week, someone is interested in you. Um, there's a little bit of flirtation happening back and forth, perhaps, or someone is flirting with you this week. And... Um, you know, it feels like with the healthy choices, um, looks like you will be a lot happier or be feeling good this week. Um, getting yourself back out there, feeling energized. Um, someone showing interest in you. Genuine interest. Okay, so let's get into this and see what this is about and see maybe who will be coming towards you this week or when they do, what can Virgo find out about this person? Okay, wow, the hanged man. So this is someone who comes with a different perspective. Um, someone that I feel like, it could be a Pisces, but someone that I feel like um, comes with like a different angle. Not something you, or not someone you have experienced before. This is someone a little bit different. They could be very spiritual. Um, like that's the first thing you will notice about them. They could be someone who is, um, you know, they believe in a higher power, so to speak, and they make that known, or they have just this spiritual thing about them, the essence of who they are. Okay, let's see what else is coming up here. And you guys, it looks like I'm going to just be doing these weeklies and it looks like I'm going to try to get the shorts out each day, but I should probably be back um, possibly December 12th, if not sooner, to resume the schedule, okay, our dailies. So thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I, cr I truly appreciate it. I almost said I cruelly appreciate it. So you've got the tower. Okay, this is uh, Scorpio energy. So I feel like... This is someone who does not have an ego issue. They might have, but they feel like they come across, if their energy feels to me like someone who maybe at one point in their life or before had a pretty big, you know, ego. This can be like a very phallic symbol or someone who um, they've had some kind of shock in their life. Um, or major upheaval and change, which has enlightened them. Okay, so kind of like that energy, and I feel like, yeah, this person is definitely in this place. If they're, when you meet them, you might understand this about them, or they might tell you that they've they've been putting a lot of stock into their life at this time and trying to figure out what their priorities are, what's most important to them in life. They might have been someone who played around a lot, possibly, if they had like a big ego or could have been very selfish. It looks like they've had some kind of a spiritual awakening for sure. Okay, so this person is tremendously commitment minded at this time. So when you connect with them, Virgo, I do feel that this is someone, I'm, I don't want to say that they're super serious, um, but like, I feel like they know what they want, you know, and I feel like when they meet you or maybe you've already met this person, this person has intention. So it feels like 
dating you with intention and purpose, not to just play the field or not to just date tons of different people to see, um, you know, shop around, so to speak. I feel like this person knows what they want. And I feel like they might have had some kind of wake up call or realization their life has changed in some way. There might have been some kind of um, breakup of some sort that they were in in the past where they are kind of like taking stock of that situation or that relationship coming to terms with you know um what they wanted maybe they have a child or they've raised their kids already looking back on their life and realizing now that you know they're, they're, it just kind of feels like they're ready to settle down or be serious so you know this could be somebody new or you could just be meeting the one. This could be somebody you already know that maybe you've been dating for a little while. Let's see what else is showing up here. I do feel like they may be contemplating going back to school, um, learning some new skills as well. So this kind of stuff is going to be like some qualifiers I feel like to show up for you with this person. What else can you tell me? Oh, okay. So the sun, this is Leo energy. So this person has a very positive outlook. That's something you will pick up right away from this person. They are genuinely happy. They are playful. Um, they have a, a very like, a there's no melancholy with this person. There's no brooding. There's no moody issue anything i see here this person is pretty upbeat active playful likes to be out in the sun um maybe um childlike likes to play a lot of um i don't know like play a lot of games maybe ride horses <laughs> they just have like this beautiful energy about them they've had some kind of shift i feel like i do and you and this person, I do feel like will have really good conversation and understanding between the two of you as far as where you are in your lives. Okay, so Queen of Wands. So this person is the first court card. So they could be a Leo, like I said, Sagittarius or Aries, masculine or feminine. Oh, it's a match or it could be you. Right? You could be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo, but this looks like a match, okay? Virgo, uh, feminine, or masculine. Oh, now here's the Queen of Cups. Okay, so sometimes we get a reading and then a lot of different people are showing up here. Oh boy. So there's definitely three people. They, they could also be a water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, so Virgo, let me say this. If this is you sitting here as the King of Pentacles, for some of you it could be. The storyline is you may have a fire sign and a water sign bookending your life. You might have two people. If you take away the sign, it doesn't resonate. You might have two people this week that you might be comparing or considering or one over the other. Yeah, look at that. Where's the potential for love? Because you're ready. It looks like as far as love goes, you are ready to start something new. You're ready to have um, those new blessings, the new beginnings, and they're coming to you. And for some of you, this is going to be a choice. Yeah, I do feel like that. Who are you? Who are you going to choose, Virgo? You might already be with someone and somebody new comes into the picture this week that's genuinely interested. Um, so there is some kind of, um, I guess I want to say like an opportunity, another opportunity showing up. I don't feel like there's temptation, but even with the devil card sitting there, there is an energy of a little bit of shock. This feels like um, it might be unexpected. And you two might get yourself in a position of hmm contemplation one asking yourself if you're ready for a long-term commitment if you're you know or a working partnership power couple energy with that three of pentacles maybe trying to decide taking stock yourself reflecting on your past past relationships spending time alone 
Um, you might have one person in this picture, in this story, who is um, pretty much a loner and not really available. And somebody else showing up here who is enthusiastic and trying to win you over. Okay, so if you like the way the story is playing out here, there's a couple, like there's a, a different scenario, but I can tell you right now, for you, Virgo, you're ready for new love. You're ready for that blessing. You, you want your cup to run over. You know, you want all of the good new starts, the new beginnings to happen. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at you, Virgo. So you're ready for a brand new chapter in your life. Out with the old and with the new. Um, you're making changes. Going especially into the new year. You're walking away from something or someone especially this week, but by the end of this year, I feel like you will have finished or learned some kind of lesson, completed some kind of contract, and um, will be opening yourself up to a brand new beginning for sure. Um, you might be contemplating a past relationship as well, and um, maybe you felt very lonely in that past relationship, or you just felt like you were the only one in it. Um, you might be getting yourself it just kind of feels like somebody new comes in that sparks something within you and makes you look and compare to what the new is offering versus what the past had brought and kind of looking at it like, wow, um, I didn't realize that I could have better. Um, not a better person, but more so like treated better for some of you because I do feel like maybe you closed off your emotions to another person um, uh, because they weren't around or not available or too much of a loner or playing like in the hermit. Um, you might have hermited your own feelings as well and just kept to yourself. It, I just like the Ace of Cups and the world sitting there together because it makes me feel like you're ready or you're preparing and you're walking into new love and it's beginning now. This, this, this shift, you may have already felt the shift and the shift is beginning now and it's moving forward throughout the rest of, well, beginning this week and throughout the rest of the year, going into the brand new year. So oh my gosh, so there you go. I mean, Virgo, I feel like you're either going to be in a long-term romantic commitment with someone, at least officially by the new year, but there will be dating from now until the end of the year. Um, or you may have an, a marriage proposal, or you may offer a romantic marriage proposal to someone that you're connecting with now, or you will be. And I, I really get a sense that the new year, 2024, is it's your time. It feels like it's your time. All right, what else are they giving me here? Oh, okay. Well, let's see. <laughs> Okay. You know, King of Swords always shows up. So we've got earth, water, fire, and air. So I see air here, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this person, I don't know who they are to you, but they're showing up significantly. Um, <laughs> this person watching your every move and they've got this club with them, and I just kind of feel like they're in um, territorial mode when it comes to you, or they will be um, when it comes to you. Okay, I don't know if this is your new person. I don't really feel like it. I don't know who this is to you, but they are showing up here, spying, watching, very curious about your new beginnings. Um, and they're just giving me with this club and I've never seen this before like this caveman with a club vibe grabbing you and pulling you back home um, <laughs> that's kind of weird to say but yeah that's what I feel like is happening here I don't know who this person is to you but I will tell you that there's a very protective energy with this person and a bit territorial and um, they're going to make sure or it looks like you know, could it be a jealous partner? It could be. Um, could it be someone in your life who's very protective of you and doesn't want to see you get hurt? It could be. Um, ready to stand up and fight for you, fight if anyone tries to harm you. Um, 
that could be taken either way um, because it could be someone that you don't want do that doing to you or it could be someone that cares very much for you and it makes you feel kind of good it could be like um i don't know anybody i mean they're giving me like it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be um anyone but then it could be someone who do they have negative intentions towards you let me just ask this king of swords what their intentions are so it looks like they have good intentions okay um could be part of your friend group they might introduce you to someone they're saying they might introduce you to this new person and it could be one of their friends um uh, and they're also saying this is one, this king of swords is one of your friends who actually kind of is maybe has a little thing for you flirty kind of thing or wants to date you um i'm also hearing that i feel like there's good intentions though i have to say that because that's what i asked they want you to be happy okay they want you to be they want you to celebrate and they want to celebrate with you so I don't feel like it's anything like someone's going to be creeping around your window like a stalkerish ex. I don't, I don't feel that energy. It doesn't mean that person doesn't want to do that, but I don't feel like their intention to protect you is to harm you. Um, this is just someone looking out for you, which is what I feel. Let's see. Is there anything else about this King of Swords? The Virgo needs to know. Could be a work friend. Um, um, this is someone I feel they're just saying now that is consistent. This is how you'll know they're consistently in your life. They will be. They have been or they will be consistently in your life. Like this is someone you might talk to a lot. So watching out for you. Now, of course, if it's an air sign, that could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But you would know. Okay, so let's just take a look at you overall, Virgo. All right, Virgo. Awesome. You're showing up with strength. So your courage, your confidence is on target, on point. Um, you have a lot of strength and power. To withstand anything, you have, um, look at this, you've got the lovers. Virgo, okay, now the king of cups is here. Okay, Virgo, I feel like you're, you're, you f you're the type of person, they're, they're telling me to tell you that you're the person that feels more empowered when um, someone is supportive and loving and um, compassionate towards you someone that doesn't pick you apart you feel stronger within yourself you have more confidence you feel worthy of love when you have someone a partner who is non-judgmental doesn't criticize in any type of way is supportive of you is loving has um, a deep sincerity that kind of energy and i feel like that's what you're looking for. That's what builds you up. That's what would encourage you to want to be in a long-term, committed, loving relationship. Because you're picky or you're selective. And it's kind of like I feel like, Virgo, that if you don't have that, you're totally fine to be on your own. <laughs> if you don't have someone that's like there for you and shows themselves as being a support like support not it's emotional support you know someone that you can talk to and share feelings with or someone that no matter um what's going on um they don't hold any judgment towards you there they, this is someone the king of cups is someone who's very intelligent emotionally intelligent and can speak to you on that emotional level 
okay? That's really important for you, it looks like. That's the thing that will give you the strength and the courage to open up because you don't usually open up with your feelings, but if someone is sharing their emotions with you and showing that very watery, fluid, um, feeling type energy towards you, um, that will encourage you to want to share back. You're normally not going to be that person that wears your heart on your sleeve. You're just not like, you're just not built that way unless you feel like you really trust the person and you feel like they're not going to hurt you. Then you'll, then you'll start to kind of open up those little layers in your heart. Right? So do I feel like you're going to meet somebody like that? Well, we'll have to wait and see going forward. You do have someone here that I said was very spiritual and very positive. Um, could they turn into that? I do feel like for you, that's pretty much a deal breaker. <laughs> you know, like if somebody is coming into your life that is not with the ability to share on an emotional level, it doesn't have to be uh, crazy, like you, like patient psychiatrist kind of level. You're not looking for a therapist in your lover, but, um, that's going to be the deal breaker for you. But I don't feel like you, I, I feel like you maybe thought you had that before, but maybe whoever you were with before just had a lid on their emotions so much that it was almost like you felt like you were alone in that relationship. So something bright, shiny, new, coming in for you let me see what else you have virgo okay so you've got the devil you've got death oh look at that yeah wow virgo i do feel look at that seven of swords you're done with this toxic sneaky behavior in people and you virgo it looks like especially now going forward you can see that for, you'll be able to see that from a mile away in anyone you're so aware <laughs> you may have look everybody's got some type of red flag right it could be a pink flag it could be an orange flag <laughs> shades of red um Whatever was in you that you might have felt like was toxic, you're lancing that for sure. Um, because when you're around people who are very toxic or vile, it's almost like a venom that gets into your system. It's like a virus, you know, and I feel like the end of this year, going into the new year for sure, you're going to be lancing that toxic boil excuse me that's gross but that's what i feel like's going like this is what's happening here i see all these swords and it's like that's like the knife you know that's the blade yeah capricorn scorpio energy if we've got gemini here i feel like you've come to or you will be at least coming to this place where you're it feels like healing really but you can't really heal whatever's left within you that that venom that's still within you unless you get the rest of it out you know like you have to get you have to get your antibiotics <laughs> you have to get that out of there and i see you doing that going forward like that's what the healthy choices is all about here you know um making better choices being in but first you need to be able to recognize what's healthy and what isn't and i see you being like, oh, wait, this thing, whatever's in me, is not healthy. It's still living there free, like a free radical, a rogue kind of virus in me, and I'm clearing that out. And I like it because you're making better choices. And because you're making healthier choices in love and in life, you're becoming happier. And because you're becoming happier and care you're caring more about yourself and you're loving yourself more, and then you become more attractive, and you have a suitor for sure but you have you have this transition period especially showing up this week and going in through the rest of this year where you're coming out of something virgo like i said the lesson being completed and you're starting fresh a new chapter is 
coming upon you here and this feels like as far as love goes um a brand new beginning definitely so i feel like this is a super super positive message here for you um let's get a couple other cards and see what's showing up here wow virgo like i just feel like your energy is you know you see what you see you call a spade a spade when you need to that's really what i feel like is going on here what the oh You know what? I just want to I want to give you a couple of career messages here for this week. Let's see what career messages or what financial money messages you need for this week. Shedding. Wow. This is crazy. You are starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well in healing and medicine so you know what virgo that's ironic is it though that that's what we were talking about healthy choices shedding and getting rid of that virus shedding that virus and it's going to affect your work life as well and even some of you um might begin to think about working in the healing industry or medicine or something like that making some changes or tweaking some things if you are already in there um, it's going to affect every area of your life getting rid of this toxic energy whatever it is and so that toxic energy you know could be just baggage from the past that kind of thing look you've got great match <laughs> This is love and career, I'm telling you. You are on the verge of finding the perfect work and the perfect person for you. Don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be truly happy, right? So some of you might be deciding that the best match for you is to be self-employed or an entrepreneur. Um, and even like, I just feel like shedding out with the old and a great match with the, in with the new Virgo, I feel like it's speaking volumes here on all levels of your life. Let's see what else do you have. Look, you've also got wealth. You know what? When you have a relationship that's toxic or it's causing distress, um, that can affect your work every time. Your work will improve when your, your heart environment improves. Did you know that? I don't know if you know that, but you perform better in your career, in your work, in your schooling, whatever you do when you have a toxic energy out of your heart, okay? If you had that or a relationship, even when you're out of a relationship and you're healing from the fallout, it can still affect your work, but your performance improves because you become lighter. You don't have the heavy burden um, of carrying around something that was detrimental to your soul, okay? An unhealthy relationship. And when I'm talking about an unhealthy relationship, I'm talking about eating poison apples or taking poison apples from someone that is giving you poison apples. I mean, you just have to ask yourself, have you been with um, or in a relationship with someone who was putting poison in your apples? I don't mean literal poison, but making you feel sick or making you feel ill. Was it just one of those relationships where no matter how much you tried to heal or make the relationship better, that person kept sabotaging? If you were in that relationship, that's unhealthy. Okay. Very unhealthy. So your work situation looks like it also improves when you start making these healthy choices and when you lance the wound so to speak of that devil energy um, something better comes along and then you've got wow illumination something hidden is coming to light now you find out about new jobs opportunities opportunities and love and options and someone comes in and lends you a helping hand. And I do kind of feel like there was someone here who was kind of looking out for you or watching out for you. Remember the King of Swords? But it could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Someone consistently in your life who could be a friend, 
or you know you have a friendship with them even if they're a family member but very supportive to help you along <coughs> excuse me so this energy looks amazing i think this is like probably one of the best if not the best read or outcome for you let's take a look and see your new person what their chinese sign will be okay so year of the tiger year of the monkey year of the rabbit year of the ox year of the dragon there's the tiger again there's the monkey again what is this a repeat okay year of the horse year of the rabbit again year of the dragon again oh and year of the dog beautiful 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 don't get too locked into the signs just listen to the overall message because until you meet someone and you actually get the birth chart you're really just kind of walking blindly you really need somebody's like full birth chart from top to bottom to know where exactly this is because even if i tell you for example that there is an air sign showing up who's very supportive of you and you have like three very close friends and they're the only ones you know that could be supportive and they're earth fire and water and no air at all it doesn't mean it's not them because they could have air rising or air um, in the in their house of support and friendship and family okay so try not to get too locked in on the signs here um, just hear the overall message of who I feel like is coming towards you at this time and what you're letting go of okay let's get a couple of initials to see who's showing up wow okay so here we go with this damn caulk gun I feel like that's what it was caulk <laughs> like when you go to the Home Depot how you emphasize the L in caulk do you have any caulk <laughs> so whatever the heck that is I guess it's a caulk gun or some kind of I think it is uh, so somebody might maybe you're doing something with that product or you are <laughs> it's like I'm I'm English would you like some caulk in your bathtub <laughs> stupid so yeah somebody's working with a tool that's what i see somebody's working with their messing with their tool all right i'm just that's just that can go so many different ways so let's leave that alone all right um somebody has really great abs has been working on their abs someone is 53 someone was born in 1981 okay um some of you need to check your brakes to make sure your brakes are good no you're not going to have a diana in the tunnel moment but i feel like just make sure your brakes are good that's what i'm hearing do you remember when we used to have to pump brakes i don't think people pump brakes anymore um somebody's getting a loan a small business loan or will be approved for a small business loan i just heard okay wow look at that you also have a snowflake just popped out so some of you are going to be getting some serious i'm not kidding serious blizzard storms in um and possibly this week for some of you i know some of you live in areas where yeah that's a given but this might be a little unexpected this feels like more of a message for you to pay attention um serious snowstorm or blizzard or flurryish weather ice cold pay attention to that okay um if you get snowstorms this time and all and it's normal um well it could still be your message but i just feel like the overall message there was an unexpected uh snowstorm kind of comes in out of nowhere and if you live somewhere where it's warm um it might be very cold or unexpectedly cold just weird like a strange thing okay someone is 38 years of age and we've got someone's name starts with an e also a b a and the letter s is in sam someone's into baseball for sure um 
and someone also is on a base or on a military base let's see what else okay all right so many okay so, does somebody use the term bay like b-a-e bay you're my bay <laughs> also have the letter u oh my gosh they just said bow so i don't know if that's a name bow or this is your bow coming in you know the, the term my bow someone thinks you're incredibly beautiful as well like beautiful aesthetic beautiful beautiful on the outside beautiful soul you might hear that from someone they, this person comes in they tell you you're very beautiful inside and out you may hear that from them or you will hear that from them what else do you have okay we've got pisces showing up here and significant day they just told me was november 9th so for someone here november 9th was a very significant day it's either an anniversary or someone's birthday or it's very significant to someone listening here all right i just want to get another message here oh, a couple others okay okay someone's going to a rave party um all right we've got 1972 and someone is 59 years of age or born in 59 or is 72 okay so let me see avr i'm not sure what that means but also var so somebody is getting um they just said um or is getting into it could be somebody's niece or nephew or kid uh, varsity baseball and i don't know what that means they're just saying varsity baseball playing varsity baseball so i guess they're in school okay pny um pny letter p the letter n and the letter y so someone might be okay pin pinoy is it am i saying that right they just said pinoy p-i-n-o-y i just heard pinoy and um someone lives on the border of pennsylvania and new york in the united states pennsylvania and new york or near that border somewhere of pa and new york okay and one more charm oh well there's a cloud okay so we have some weather events going on here <laughs> and it's just up in the northern hemisphere like not very significant because we are getting into the colder weather but i am going to say that there is unexpected cold and unexpected precipitation in the warmer climates climates that is going to be completely like off base where if you live in a sunny warm environment you're going to be outside making a snowman or you might even have a flood okay so i feel like some of that had a lot to do with where they were saying to make sure your brakes are I don't feel like your brakes are going to go while you're driving. I just feel like if you are getting prepared for the winter season, if you haven't done it already, just make sure your brakes are good. Just say, hey, can you just check my brakes? That's what I'm just hearing. Okay. And um, I do also hear that you're going to, some of you, with somebody new coming in, this is going to give you that cloud nine feeling. And I feel like that's significant, but if, cause I feel like some of you haven't felt that in a really, really long time. You know, that cloud nine feeling like that, um, super excited about somebody new coming into your life. So that's cloud nine energy. They just said, yeah, cloud nine. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I liked it. I hope you liked it. Like I said, um, I think December 12th, 
I will be back doing the regular scheduling though it's almost Christmas but um, I'm gonna do my best like I said when I get some free time I come back and then I can do this I'll try to do the shorts as well I keep saying I'm gonna do it but I haven't really had much free time um, but yeah keep your eyes peeled follow me on Facebook Twitter the links are all in my link tree below here in my description box under the video where I am posting like channeled messages that you can get for the day for the week and you know Virgos in there and all the other signs so you know try to pop in there um, because where I am I don't have an um, I'm pretty much out in a hut and I don't have electricity no I'm kidding <laughs> I just don't have a way to do my um, readings so I have to drive all the way back to do them so um, but yeah follow me on my socials so that we can stay in touch and um, yeah I will I will definitely be seeing you guys again very shortly keep your eyes out for the for the only um, or for the shorts and for those of you who are only fans um, members I am just gonna keep um, popping up the post the post um, typed out posts until I can get back and do the video okay you guys so thank you for staying with me and staying a part of my membership over there and for those of you who are members here on my channel as soon as I can I'll be back with your live streams where we'll be interacting and you can get your Q&A going and yeah I think that's it so many announcements my gosh so I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving and um, I hope you had a great weekend. So this is going to be for the whole week going forward. Um, and I will see you guys back. I'm just going to end it here. But I will see you guys back here. If not sooner. Definitely on um, December 3rd or 4th. Alright you guys. Take care. Love you all.